Good morning, YouTube. Let's see what we're going to make today. There's a drawing. And it's sort of like it's going to be a mixture of two things. It looks quite plain actually, but it is going to be quite nice. Because the bottom part of this is existing um, kitchen units that are in the client's house. And this part here to here at the ceiling is going to be in an oak unit with adjustable shelves. And on the shelves, it's got these reinforced fronts. I call them anti sag things. I could be doing me up in the cell actually. Anti sag things. But here's the draw fronts. Let me show you a draw front that I've made. Of course, here's a one to one drawing. How many times have I mentioned about doing a one to one drawing? You can even for the most basic of jobs, I like to do a one to one drawing. And a sheet of plaster is only like what? It's like a tenner, in fact. And you could use it multiple times, so it's well worth it just to buy a sheet of plaster board to do a drawing. I thought I would do this feature here. And I've oversized my drawer front slightly so that I could trim it down in our corners and then I made a wee oak pool knob which will just go there in the centre. And I think it'll look quite nice actually. I'll show you how I make this. I've already turned a wee, like, it's like a plug. I've turned that on the left. It's got a slight angle. I don't know if you see that slight angle up on top here, tapering backwards so that I could put this into my chuck. Yeah, chuck. And that goes in there. And because it's slightly tapered, slightly, it just helps to get a better grip. And I'll already turn one of these. It's good to have one of these anyway, so that you could attach it to stuff. Yeah, so I'll take it up. And now you just hit and watch. Watch what I do. A good tip is, especially when you're doing templates and things, is once you've got the things stuck together, it's just reinforce that joint and even more so with something like this where this thing now when it goes in a lay is gonna spin like a propeller, so watch your fingers. What's the center? My size is a radius of 46 millimeters. Hold it on 100 mil. Mark 46. No, I have got a method. Well, the best way to measure something is not to use a tape measure. So here is my depth. It's that packer, whatever it is, that's my depth. So that's my setting. If you could just see that. Pay attention. So I'm going to use that. I've also got, there is a bit of free hand in this wood turning. So you might get very slight difference from one drawer front to the next, very slightly. You might never notice it, but you know something? That's what makes it handmade. Because if everything is absolutely perfect, that's production line. And pff, there's enough of them going about. When this thing comes flying off, comes off my head, I'm going to know about it. I'm going to can. Check, mark sure it's clear. Contact! Now I'll give 
bit of wee sand. But be very careful not to get the sandpaper out here because you're just going to scratch up. You want you don't want to scratch up. You want to keep it nice and flat. So just down here, and it just needs a wee touch there. Yeah. Now here we go. I can sand it this way. And maybe just countersink that in a wee bit. Nan's difficult, is it? It's not difficult. I don't make mistakes. I just get things wrong. So Screw that on. Here we go. I'm gonna screw this on. Watch it. Watch it split live on YouTube. Trial run. Gonna need a wee drop of glue in here, but I'm not gonna do that yet because when I get all the drawers in place, I like to get, I like to line them up. Because if I, if I do uh, that, if I do all this, excuse my Scottish, and then I put it together, and then we get, we get this going on. Look, we get things like that, and we do, we do get it in line, and that's near what I want. It's just old fashioned, old school. That looks quite nice. I kind of like that. It's beautiful. I like my job. Now this wood is solid oak. It's flat, it's straight, it's nay cut. It's, it's been seasoned for a while. I reckon if I don't get this oiled soon, we're gonna get things out of shape, so. It's like a swan. So, I have to get it sorted out. It's nice, I like it. Remember those cigar boxes you used to get? And the older joiners um, that are watching us, like guys, I say older joiners, guys that are like approaching 60, like me. Um, when you were at woodworks in school, back in the 70s, one of the tasks that we had to make, believe it or not, this is crazy, but we had to make like a, a box for cigarettes, uh, so that we can make it as a cigarette box, so that we can make it as gifts to our parents, crazy back then. I don't, I, I don't know how they managed to survive with the things that's going on back then, you know, the amount of things that we had that would that would kill us, but yet, who am I, pandemic, pandemic my fat. Sometimes I bash on and I think, oh me, I better switch the camera on. But this was running the cornice part. I'll put up a photograph of a job that I did a couple of years ago and I used this same method. So you'll catch a glimpse of it, but you'll get a glimpse of it anyway to end. And that'll be it, so I'll crack on me, get that together.
before I add the draw fronts to the actual box itself. So, I mean, that's not thin, it's only about maybe 11 12 millimeters thick. And if I don't oil this, then what I did on the lathe by scooping that out will have an effect on it. It could dry at different places, it could start cupping and warping and twisting and stuff like that. So I'm going to give us a coat of oil to hopefully it's going to stop that from happening. Get some in there. Here it is. I like this. It. It's quite nice. It's the first time I've done this on a draw front. But I saw it. Someone else did it. I try and get the image up maybe. Somebody did it and I thought it was quite a nice, quite effective. And I often thought, right, I'll do that at some point. Or in Scot a Scottish we say, I'll do that. I'll do that at some point. This oil seems to be, it almost looks like as if it's on its last legs. It's congealed. Furniture oil goes like that. When it starts to congeal like that, that is when it, it's at its best because it's reduced to its, uh, what's the word? Um, to its potential ingredients. It's reduced to the activating stuff. It's no longer as fluid. Um, and that's when it's at its best. It seems to be a wee bit thicker. The thing about oil is, is for a finish as well, I mean I, I could I could hear dust on there, I could have like the what have you, whereas if it was a varnish you'd have to make sure that that was almost squeaky clean. Trying to say that I will get there soon Birdie days I walk down this way Singing my madness to the moon I met a cat on a tree And it talked to me About things we don't see I asked it how do I know Which is the right way to go To get me home And it said don't work for a reason P.U. Glue polyurethane glue I spoke about it in previous videos and you see how it's just starting to ease out I'm coming up through there and down the side don't touch it let it, let it set don't attempt to wipe it off or anything like that because it'll just spread so that's the back and board done I think I'll just try the draw front on just to see set it up so that I can get a photograph of it before it gets dismantled and go to the customer and I'm just putting on these little if you see here this comes in nice and flush and I put on these little rubber stops that are on the, the base of there if you could see that little wee rubber thing is it there and then that just takes away that so that it's just near thud so look as a wee step, these are a flush, flush, wee step, allowed for that, closes up that gap too, and I'll just put on this little bit here, on the back of this, let me just come here for a bit, take off one of these little rubber self adhesive thingy my bobs, and I'll just go in here. 
nut hooks on the back. These runners, just to take off the friction off the side of it, there's not more than a drawer runner, as in uh, something that will reduce the friction. And that just finishes off nicely. Three thousand miles from home, trying to say that I will get there soon. Thirty days I walk down this way. Singing my madness to the moon. Now that we finish, just to touch up. Yeah. And then